everyone, welcome back to Virtual Chapel Time. We're so glad that you are here with us. And I want to, once again, introduce, this is my son, Hutch. Hello. And this is my daughter, Sophia. Hi. And they are here. They were gonna open up in prayer this morning, and then we're gonna sing a song. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, yeah. open us up, Hutch. All right, so stretch out your hands. Wiggle your fingers, stretch them out. Now lace them together, put them to your heart. And let's pray. Dear God, dear God, thank you. Thank, thank you, you for this wonderful day at chapel time. For, for this, this wonderful day, day at chapel time. Even though we're seeing each other through a screen. Even though we're seeing each other through a screen. We can learn a lot. We can, we can learn, learn a lot. lot about your love. About, about your, your love. love. Amen. 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 All right, we're going to do a song. We're going to sing This Little Light of Mine. I'm, I'm going to let, let it shine. shine. And This Little Light of Mine. I'm, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. And then remember the next one is Even When I'm Afraid. I'm going to let it shine. And then the last one we'll do is don't no, try what? to don't try to blow it out. Don't, don't try, try to blow it out and you got to take it away and I'm, I'm going to let, let it shine. shine. Okay, we ready? Yep. Okay. Yeah, Here we, we go. One, two, three, go. This little light of mine. She'll be back a little bit later on. Hutch is gonna hang out with me. And just remember, you've got a light inside you that God put in your heart, and just really go ahead and let it shine when you can. Last week, we talked about how God has the whole world in his hands, and we even sang about it, if you remember. Today, we are going to talk about how not only does God have the whole world in his hand, but we're gonna talk about something that is so important that we talk about at chapel time, your moms and dads yeah. might even talk about it in church. And it's found in two places in the Bible. I have our Bible that we read together during chapel time. And the two places that it's found in the Bible are in Matthew verse six and Luke 11. And Luke verse 11. Remember those four gospels. That's going to be your first gospel and then your third gospel. So in Matthew and then in Luke. And so those are the ones that we're going to look at today. And in this Bible, what it's talking about here is how, I, I like to show you these pictures that are in here, but of how Jesus was praying and we just prayed. Yeah. We just prayed a par prayer. And sometimes it's hard for even mommies and daddies to yeah. know what to pray about. Or sometimes maybe, maybe you're sad and maybe, maybe you don't really feel like praying. 
but that's okay. And that's what all of these people that Jesus was talking to, they were asking him, Lord, Jesus, how do you pray? How do I pray? How do you pray? And in Matthew and Luke, Jesus gave us a really good example. And not only in our Bibles here, mm-hmm. Hutch has his Bible again, and I have my Bible. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have our editors put in a, a little screenshot because these words, once again, I'm reading from Matthew yeah. and Hutch has his open to Luke. But here in my Bible, it's all red. It's red. So mm-hmm. I know that these are God's words. These are the words yeah. that Jesus spoke. And Jesus taught not only people that were asking him how to pray, but he's teaching us how to pray. And as Hutch and I were talking about what's called the Lord's Prayer, that the Lord's Prayer is not only do we say it in our family, but we were thinking about other families who say it too. And as we were thinking of other families who say it, our own, my husband, yeah. Hutch's dad, he knows the Lord's Prayer in a different language. language. He knows it in Armenian. And then we were thinking, wow, how many other people do we know who know the Lord's Prayer in a different language? And we were talking with Mr. Stephen. Yes. If you know Mr. Stephen, he's done chapel time with you before. Mr. Stephen told us that Jesus himself did not say the Lord's Prayer in English. And we were like, yeah. what? That's, wow. That's crazy. Yeah. And then what language did Jesus actually say it in? And Mr. Stephen said that all of the theologists, those are people who study things like this. Mm-hmm. It's a big word to mean like, hey, I study that. Yeah. And <laughs> if you can say theology, that's a really good big yeah. word. Let's try it. Ready? Okay. Theology. (laughs) So the people who study that are called theologists. And they study the Bible and they study Jesus. And and that's what Mr. Stephen does. He he studies the Bible and so do we. And we were learning from him. Mm -hmm. He said that God, that Jesus, would have probably spoken the Lord's Prayer in Aramaic Aramaic. or in Greek. Greek. Now... Mr. Miller, Mr. Art, some of you might know him. He's our worship director here, and you might know his kids too. We, yeah, yeah, and they're all around here. And Mr. Miller, his family is from Greece. Greece. And we asked him, texted him, put it, boop, 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 said, Mr. Miller, can you say the Lord's Prayer in in Greek? Greek? He said, yes, I can. Let me send it to you. So we're going to share that with you right now. Mm -hmm. Mr. Miller. Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Art. I'm the music and worship director at Christ Lutheran Church, and it's great to be here with you today. And Miss Esther asked me to read for your chapel time the Lord's Prayer in Greek. So uh, my family is from Greece, and if we were in Greece right now, we would be reading the Lord's Prayer in Greek at a church. So I'm going to read it to you in Greek right now. Enjoy. Paterimon, oendi suranis, adiastito tonamasu, erteto i vasiliasu, yenithito totelimasu, Os en urano ke epitigis, ton arton imon, ton epiusium, to simin simeron, ke afe simin ta oferimata imon, os ke imis afiementis ofiliete simon, ke mi izenis imas ispirasmon, alarise imas apotu poniru. Amen. Wow. Wow. Did you know that Art could say that in Greek? I didn't know it. He did really good. Thank you for sharing with us, Art. That's crazy. He learned how to say it in Jesus language. (laughs) Yeah, right? I wonder if Jesus sounded like Art. Maybe. Maybe. (laughs) And then we were thinking about all the other people here just Mm -hmm. at church that might know it in a different language. And so we started checking it out. And 
come to find out, Miss Hannah knows how to say the Lord's Prayer in German. Now, we're a Lutheran church, and Martin Luther, who our Lutheran church is named after because we're Lutherans, and Martin Luther lived in, in Germany. Germany. And so Martin Luther probably would have said the Lord's Prayer in this language. In this language. He would have said it in German. Let's listen to how the Lord's Prayer sounds in, in German. German. Here you go, Hannah. Vater unser im Himmel, geheiligt werde dein Name. Dein Reich komme, dein Wille geschehe, wie im Himmel so auf Erden. Unser tägliches Brot gib uns heute und vergib uns unsere Schuld. Ja, wir vergeben unseren Schuldigen und führe uns nicht in Berschen, sondern erlöse uns von dem Bösen. Denn das ist das Reich und die Kraft und die Herrlichkeit in Ewigkeit. Amen. I can't imagine that we just heard the Lord's Prayer now in two languages. I've got one more language, then we're going to learn it in English. Ready? Yeah. So the third language, if you know Mr. George, George comes in here, he works here, he helps keep our place shiny and, and clean, clean and safe. <laughs> and George, and you might know some of his kids too, because they might be some of your friends. Mm -hmm. And George's kids are here too. George knows the Lord's Prayer in, in Spanish. Spanish. And so, Mr. George, he's going to say it for us in Spanish. Spanish. Are you ready to hear it? I know I am. I am as well. All right, here we go. George? Padre nuestro, que estás en el cielo, santificado, sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino. Haga su voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras ofensas como también nosotros perdonamos a quien nos ofende. No nos dejes caer de tentación y líbranos del mal. Amén. Thank you. Cool. Three different languages. Three languages. We were thinking maybe do your mommies and daddies or maybe grandparents or aunties or uncles or maybe even a neighbor. Does anyone that you know know the Lord's Prayer in, in a different, different language? language? They might. And that's a family activity that you can do together. You can ask any of them. And with Zoom and, mm -hmm. and Skype and FaceTime, you can do it all together as a family. We're gonna say it to you. We're gonna pray it with you. We're gonna we're gonna say it and pray it. <laughs> say it and pray it. Say it and pray it. We're gonna say it to you in, in English right now, and it can be found, like I said, anywhere in your Bible. Um, I have it. I'm gonna read it. This is Luther's small catechism, which yep. some of you might have at home, and it's okay if you don't. You can always Google it too if you don't have a Bible. If you have an old hymnal, which it's we a found, songbook. yeah, it's a songbook. But even though there's, it's filled with many songs. I found it right in this songbook. And um, if you don't have a Bible, by the way, or access to any of this, please um, call our church or email us or text me if you know my number. Um, and we will get you a Bible in your hands. That's the most important thing. Yep. And we have access to a lot of it because we're church. So we yeah. have Bibles. We got Bibles. There you go. So we're going to say it and we're going to say the Lord's Prayer um, right now. You ready? Do you, need yep. it? Do you need it? All right. I'm just going to put ready. It goes, Our Father who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, which means our, our Father, Father who lives in heaven. heaven. And then a big word. Hallowed be thy name. That means holy. Hallowed is a big word for the word holy. Holy is your name. Holy is your name. So our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Right? Give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses. trespasses. Ooh, trespasses. That's a big word. That just means forgive us when we do things that we're not supposed to do, like fight with yeah. our sisters yeah. or our brothers. 
<laughs> so forgive us our trespasses, trespasses. and forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. us. That means people that maybe don't do things that are so nice to us. Yeah, like a bully at school. Right. You could still forgive them. Absolutely, right? Yep. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And that just means that, that God is in control of the whole world and it all belongs to him. So if you're ever in a spot where you don't know how to pray, or you're wondering, just like Jesus' friends yes. and many other people wondered, how should I pray, especially now when sometimes it's a little tricky to know how to pray? So what we're going to do is we learn, we remember that our, yeah. right, my husband, your dad, knows the prayer in, in Armenian. Armenian. So we're gonna call him over and he's gonna, we're gonna do a family activity together. Yep. We're gonna learn yeah. how to say the Lord's Prayer in, in Armenian. Armenian. Jason! <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna learn the Lord's Prayer together as a family in Armenian. Right. Are you guys ready? Right. I'm ready. You guys ready? All right. All right. So first thing, we're going to hold our hands like this. Oh, okay. And we're going to say, Hi, Mare. Hi, Mare. For her Guinness, yes. For her Guinness, yes. Sup, yegetsi, anunko. Sup, yegetsi, anunko.